I'm Steven, I use he, him pronouns. I'm the music director for Twelfth Night. Hi, I'm Angie. I use she, her pronouns, and I'm the public works director at Seattle Rep. Hey, I'm Hattie. I use she, her pronouns, and I'm the director for Twelfth Night. Uh, rehearsing virtually has been a really fun, exciting challenge. Rather than thinking about all the things we can't do, it's been really wonderful to focus on the things that we can do, such as easily get to rehearsal without planning a commute, being close by to our families and our homes, being able to grab a quick snack from the fridge on a rehearsal break and take care of ourselves. Those have been some of the wonderful silver linings of rehearsing virtually. Teaching music virtually is very different than it is uh, in person. So the technology doesn't quite exist yet for us to be able to sing out loud and hear a piano at the same time. Uh, Zoom just isn't there yet. And so what um, we kind of do a lot is this funny thing where we listen to the music director, me playing the piano, or we listen to the track playing, and we all sing along while our cameras are muted. And so I basically am playing the piano and watching our 50 community members sing um, with their cameras on, fully engaged, but I can't hear a single one of them. And so it's super different, but what's so exciting is that I can see all of them getting super into it, really using their bodies. And I can see how the music like fills up their whole space with joy. And so even though I can't hear a single one of them, it is really still kind of that same heartwarming feeling of hearing 50 people sing all at the same time. When Angie and I first started talking about doing a virtual public works project, uh, the things that were important to us was that our community got to come together to create art together in a joyful space, and that we got to share the joy of a story with our Seattle Rep audience. We're also thinking about how we can make this still as theatrical an experience as possible, as opposed to creating a film version. We're talking in rehearsal about picturing as if we're on stage when we rehearse and perform. Most of our cast members have already performed on the Bagley stage and rehearsed in our Poncho Forum. Uh, so they can actually use their memories, transport themselves to that space um, and create a piece of art, almost as if we're all together in person. When I think about themes in Twelfth Night that resonate in today's world, I think about resilience as a community and coming together. I think about finding yourself in a new home. I think of friendship and camaraderie, and I think of the ways that we find that and um, lean into that when we need it most. The audiences are going to be really delighted and excited to see the show, especially um, when they see just how many people are involved. It's so exciting to see all the different groups and characters that our entire community ensemble of 50 people are, are bringing to your screen. I hope that at the end, folks are singing and dancing and enjoying themselves the way that they do when they're in the theater. I know I certainly will be. I hope that audiences leave Twelfth Night with joy in their hearts and a sense of experiencing art and community together. Next for the Public Works family, we're going to keep offering classes through our partner organizations, provide opportunities for folks to come together weekly through our artist hours and find more chances for folks to be in community together. More community, more theater, more equity, imagination, and joy. See you at the show. See you there. See you there.